This is VOA News. Sudanese protesters demonstrated into the night Monday. At least three people were killed when security forces fired on them. All this after the military seized power in an apparent coup. Security forces opened fire on protesters earlier in the, earlier in the day, killing three demonstrators, according to the Sudan Doctors Committee. The group said at least 80 people have been injured. Sudan's military chief, General Abdel Fattah Burhan, declared a nationwide state of emergency Monday and announced the end of a joint civilian military council that ran the country for the past two years. The general made a televised address after military forces arrested Prime Minister Abdallah Hamdak and other officials of the Sovereign Council. Burhan said he dissolved the council and the government due to political quarrels that were threatening the security of the country. He announced that a new government of technocrats will soon be appointed. United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres has called for the immediate release of Sudan's detained leaders. His spokesman, Stefan Dujaric, spoke at a news conference on Monday, saying the ongoing military coup in Sudan must end. The Arab League and Egypt echoed remarks calling for the political agreements to be upheld, as did the African Union. You can read more reactions from world leaders and governments on voanews.com. This is VOA News. The United States and a number of its closest allies used a periodic review of China's trade policy by the World Trade Organization to vent their anger. They're speaking out at Beijing's unwillingness to conform with rules meant to establish a level playing field for all participants. The regularly scheduled trade policy review came last week as China marks 20 years of membership in the WTO. That's a group that works to establish rules for trade among its 164 member countries. A U.S. interim representative to the WTO in Geneva says China has not met expectations of permanently dismantling existing policies and practices that were incompatible with an international trading system based on open policies. The United States was far from alone in complaining about China's failure to live up to its obligations. Representatives from various governments provided a long list of ways in which they said China bends or breaks the rules. The UN Weather Agency says greenhouse gas concentrations hit a new record high last year. They also increased at a faster rate than the annual average for the last decade. The agency also said that part of the Amazon rainforest has gone from being a carbon sink that sucks carbon dioxide from the air to a source of CO2 due to deforestation and reduced humidity in the region. This is all according to the UN agency's annual report on heat trapping gases in the atmosphere. Egypt's state of emergency will be lifted for the first time in years, that according to President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi on Monday. Egypt imposed a state of emergency in April 2017 after deadly bombings of churches and has since routinely extended it at three-month intervals despite an improved security situation. According to a Facebook post from al-Sisi, he wrote, Egypt has become an oasis of security and stability in the region. Hence, it was decided for the first time in years to cancel the extension of the state of emergency in all areas of the country. Hertz has announced that it will buy 100,000 electric vehicles from Tesla. It's one of the largest purchases of battery-powered cars in history and the latest evidence of increasing commitments to EV technology. The purchase by one of the world's leading rental car companies reflects its confidence that electric vehicles are gaining acceptance with environmentally minded consumers as an alternative to vehicles powered by petroleum running internal combustion engines. 